If you inspect a patch of sandy soil, you may see strange indentations in the ground. Perhaps you might witness the occasional insect slip down the slope, but with great effort escape the pit. These little pits may seem quite mysterious, and whatever created them long gone. But look closely, and you may be lucky enough to spot some movement. Or perhaps a struggling insect that has fallen into the pit, seemingly being pulled down by some invisible force. These are the pit traps of antlion larvae. One day they will transform into graceful flying insects, but for now, these alien beasts are the stuff of nightmares. Their most prominent and frightening feature are their wicked and elongated mandibles, which can inject various enzymes and venom into prey. These little monsters are quite industrious, and construction of the pit is done in an interesting way. Scooting backwards just beneath the loose soil, the antlion flings sand out of the trench it starts creating. Spiraling inwards, the trench widens into a small crater. When it finally reaches the center, the larva digs down, flinging the remaining loose soil from the pit. When it has judged the pit deep enough, it opens its jaws wide, ready to hunt. Motionlessly, it waits for prey to blunder into its pit. Adapted to the unpredictable nature of being an ambush predator, these larvae have very slow metabolisms, and it can take years for one to grow large enough to transform into an adult. Sometimes, creatures caught up in the pits are far too large and armored. The antlion fights in vain to keep its pit from filling in as the beetle clambers to escape. The beetle is out, and the antlion can finally clear out the excess sand. This time, the prey is a much more manageable size. Falling in, the antlion quickly grabs on, attempting to hold and envenomate the prey, while the hapless insect struggles to gain a foothold. It breaks loose and begins to scale the side. The antlion flings the dirt it knocks down back at it, attempting to dislodge the fleeing insect. Despite this, the bug reaches the top and escapes, leaving the larvae to wait for its next potential victim. <laughs>